Classworks that's under development, so I'll show you about Box Classworks, um, that'll be available uh, sometime later this year. And the big difference with this version of Clarisworks is that it's able to embed any OpenDoc component. So for example, go ahead and scroll down. I've got this document that's about the 1904 World's Fair. And in this document, I have a button. And because with CyberDog, we provided the internet components, I can click on this button. It takes me off to a website about the movie Meet Me in St. Louis um, off on the internet somewhere. Again, fully integrated right, in from, right from inside of Claris Works. So how do you create buttons like that? How do you get this uh, internet integration in these documents? Well, over here, I have another sidebar. I'm going to wire this up to a site about the uh, Missouri Historical Society. So to create a button, I simply drag a new button from my desktop, drop it in. I got a button. Well, what does a button need? Well, it needs a picture. So I've saved off the uh, logo for the Missouri Historical Society, drop it on, and now it's got the picture. Well, what else does it need? All it needs to do is wire it up to the Missouri Historical Society website. And so there are lots of ways to find the URL for the website, but I happen to know that one of my friends uh, sent me the URL through email. And so because CyberDog includes a full internet email client, and because it's based on OpenDoc, I can look at my email right from inside of Clarisworks. So I'll go up to here, and do a search, and as Larry and Gil both mentioned, CyberDog includes the uh, Apple's vTwin technology, so we fully index all of the content of all of the mail on your system. And so I have something like 2,500 uh, letters on this computer. I'll do a search, uh, and very quickly, it returns all the letters in my mail that might have something to do with the Missouri Historical Society ordered by the relevance of, of, uh, to that query. So I'll go ahead and open up this letter. And one of the things you might notice about this letter is this isn't plain old boring ASCII internet mail anymore. It's got pictures, it's got style text, color text, objects, all these kinds of things. We try to take the, the internet MIME standard and push it a little further than people have been pushing it to try and get a richer uh, experience through email. And here I've got an icon that when I double click on it, again brings up the CyberDog web browser and takes me off to the site for the Missouri Historical Society. So there it is. So now, I have this object, I have this button, and to wire the button to the object, I simply drag it and drop it, and now it's, it's, it's wired up. And that's all there is to it, to author, to in integrate the internet into applications, you just do drag and drop. <laughs> the, uh, you always want to end a report with some pizzazz, and these days nothing has more pizzazz than Java. So over here, I have a Java applet, and I want to put it into Clarisworks, and to do that, I simply drag it, drop it in, and here I've got Tumbling Duke inside of Clarisworks through the power of the ResNova is developing a Java, uh, Java OpenDoc applet player. And so, again, through the power of OpenDoc, I've got this little Java applet of the guy uh, tumbling around. Let's see, there you go. The, uh, the final thing I want to show is this picture up here which looks like a graphic, just a normal uh, pic or GIF or whatever, but it's actually not. It's actually a Macromedia free, uh, freehand drawing running inside of an OpenDoc part. And because it's freehand, what I can do is, and freehand is vector-based, I can zoom in, I can pan around, all the power of freehand running again inside of Clarisworks. And it's actually a little bit different than that. Rather than just being freehand, it's actually Shockwave for freehand. And what we're running here is the Shockwave for freehand Netscape plugin running inside of an OpenDoc part that can run any Netscape plugin. So because it's, <laughs> it's a little complicated. <laughs> Again, all running in Claris works, and because it's Shockwave for freehand, what uh, Macromedia extended freehand will let you bind URLs to objects. So I can click on this uh, building about the Philippine exhibit, and it brings up a web page that takes you off to tell you about the Philippine exhibit. So what you've got here is a CyberDog web browser being opened up, by Macromedia Shockwave for Freehand running inside of our Netscape plugin part, all inside of Clarisworks, again, completely seamless to the user and all through OpenDoc. Clarisworks didn't have to support anything but the OpenDoc API, and they get all this for free. So.